So while the whole world is worried about Will Smith slapping Chris Rock like a little, you know, <laughs> you know what? What's going on, guys? Welcome. It's your boy Solo. Welcome to Solo TV 84. So everybody's worried about <laughs> this, right? And by the way, look at how he's walking off in that smile. That looks, I don't know, it looks fake to me. But anyway, everybody's worried about that, right? The whole world. But we are worried about what really matters, the crypto market. Bitcoin has finally gone back up to 47K. And now, the last two days, I've noticed so much positive sentiment, right? And the fear to greed index has shot up. I mean, it was at a 30 last week, and now it's doubled. It's at a 60 today, right? Now, guys, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. So when we look at this, right, I am still bearish. Wait, what? Solo, how can you be bearish? XRP had a really great week last week. Zilliqa is going on a tear. Luna's doing great, right? Heck, even Shiba is starting to huff and puff right now. So why are you bearish? Well, shout out to Be Mighty King. He's in the part of the conglomerate. He's one of the high-ranking officials there. Shout out to him. But his this is the the, the 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 TA that I'm looking at, the graph I'm looking at, right? And it confirms um, other people's graphs that I, I know have good intel and, and whatnot, right? So look, I'm not bearish for long. As I've been saying on Patreon, if you've been fault paying attention, I'm bearish until later later April. So I think that, you know, the latter part of April going into May is really when we're going to start seeing good, good movement. And I think this summer is going to be phenomenal. I think that people who um, got out of the market, if they're not getting back in now, because I know some of you guys, I've talked to a couple of you who, who've said that you had to get out the market because I understand you may have financial reasons or, or whatnot, or you just are tired of waiting. But if you, you know, this is not financial advice, but if you got out because you just were tired of waiting, uh, you're going to really feel salty when, you know, BTC uh, hits a new all-time high in July or these altcoins hit a new all-time high in June and July, right? I'm really, I'm really bullish um, for the summer months, right? I'm bearish, though, from, from the, the end of March until, you know, the middle of April. That's just where, where I'm at with it, okay? And by the way, nobody knows where the market is going to go next. As I said, everybody's so much positive sentiment. People are talking about 58K next. Uh, people are talking about 53K next. I've even seen people talk about 60K next. Nobody knows, okay? But you know what I like about being bearish while everybody's bullish? It makes me more logical. It makes me more logical because then I'm not going off of the hype. There's no FOMO, right? Because I've been dollar cost averaging, right? Um, and even though I haven't bought the last two weeks, what I did do yesterday is I consolidated some of my coins. So for example, I had a little bit of Uniswap, just a small amount. Like I had like four and a half unis and I just converted that into Shiba. Cause it, you know, it was like what, 50 bucks. It was really small. So I consolidated some of my smaller coins. Um, I had a little bit of BTC. I consolidated that into XRP, right? I just did that. Just, just to increase my holdings and coins that I already have uh, good holdings in or, or want, need more holdings of. I don't think you can have enough XRP. That's just me personally. Um, because at this stage now, my strategy is continuously evolving, right? You guys know I was, I was always talking about diamond hands, and I still believe in diamond hands, but I also believe in taking profits, okay? <laughs> ain't no point of just being diamond hands if you, just, if you ain't never going to take no profit, all right? So that's, that's a very important thing as well as make sure that you're taking profits. But yeah, Zillica, I mean, has gone up. Zillica is a coin that I've talked about in the past, for those who have watched my channel, you know, before Zillica is a project that I got back into in 2018 and it really hasn't done much, but it, phenomenal last 30 days and month, right? And they're announcing that they're getting into the metaverse. That's huge. Axie Infinity has woken up from its slumber. Uh, Crow, Cronus is, is doing very well the last week and today. I think Crow is going to do phenomenal. 
I think that Crow will blow past the dollar or two because Crow is really crypto.com. The partnerships that they have, uh, you know, with the NBA, with the being announced with um, being uh, that they bought the Staples Center and now they they have a partnership with the World Cup. Uh, I'm going to be trying to buy as much Crow as, as my life is depending on it. You know, Dogecoin had a phenomenal week there. You know, the, there's more uh, upgrades happening. I've been telling you guys about the Giga Wallet. I told you guys about that months ago. I don't know why that's new information for people now. The, the, I was telling you guys about this in the summer. You know, Dogecoin is going to have a great, great summer, I believe. XRP, man, if that case ends soon, as we hope. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to keep my mouth shut on that. But I am buying XRP too. VeChain is doing well. Now, I'm not going to lie, guys. I think that VeChain, and I'm going to be honest, I think that VeChain is probably regarding a project with the partnerships and utility and, and you know, utility. I think VeChain is one of the best projects out there. You could even argue that it's the the best, right? I I wouldn't be mad at you for that. Um, I think the what holds V Chain back, and I, I finally had to be honest with myself. The reason why V Chain has been where it's at is because of its affiliation with the the CCP. You feel me? Um, so yeah, guys, I'm not gonna cap. I I actually got out of, and this is not a secret. If you if you've been watching my Patreon videos. Um, a few months ago, I got, you know, I, I converted 95% of my VeChain into other coins. So I've got about 5% of VeChain still originally left. Not a lot, but still a little bit. Uh, Sandbox is going to be a monster. I know I don't talk about Sandbox a lot, um, but Sandbox is going to be a monster. I think that if you got into Sandbox even now, uh, in the next few years, you're going to make mega profits. Stella Lumens is one that's very, very underrated. People don't talk about Stella a lot. You guys know I'm very bullish on XLM. It's always on my, my list. ApeCoin has done phenomenal, right? Um, I'm not getting into ApeCoin. I think that if you got into ApeCoin when it was seven bucks and then it went right back up to 14, you're good. Um, you know, so salute to you, Solana. Phantom, oh my. You know what? Phantom, I think, is going to have a monster year. I think Phantom is going to be one of those projects that's going to be around for a while. Um, I'm trying to get into Phantom. I just don't. I can't right now. But Phantom is wow. And when I say when I say I can't right now, what I mean is, listen, I'm not just trying to get into a project to, to just, oh, yeah, I, I got 10 phantom or i got a hundred no if i'm if i'm like if i want to get into a project i want to get a good sizable amount into a project you know what i mean because that's one of the reasons why i consolidated my portfolio there's no point of holding a coin that it goes up but you don't have enough of it and so it doesn't really do anything for you you know what i'm saying it doesn't so by consolidating my my portfolio it allows me to have more stronger holds in coins that I'm already established in. And, and eventually then when you're able to take profits, then I can compound them into these other projects, right? So yeah, guys, this is just a quick update. A lot of bullish sentiment right now. We'll see where it goes. Um, yeah, God bless you and, and don't get slapped. <laughs> Peace.